To look at her now, you would find it hard to believe that less than a year ago, Riley Robertson was paralyzed from the waist down. A competitive swimmer, she started noticing she was losing her strength until one day her legs just didn't work. I had to like lay on my stomach and go down, like slide down the stairs. When Riley was brought here to Maine Medical Center, a brain scan revealed she had acute transverse myelitis, causing inflammation in her spinal cord. It's not entirely clear what causes the inflammation. We think that it's a body dysregulation where the body is exposed to some virus or bacteria and instead of causing um, an inflammatory response just to that virus or that bacteria, it also causes an inflammatory response to some of your own proteins in your body. Eventually at that point I was paralyzed from my belly button down. Um, I couldn't sit up like I am. I could, I could just lay down flat on my back. Here at the Barbara Bush Children's Hospital, they see four or five cases like Riley's a year. Each one is a little different, requiring trial periods of different medications to reduce the swelling on the brain, and then months and months of rehab, something they can do right here at the hospital. So as soon as we needed to switch from the medical mode to the rehabilitation mode, she didn't have to move to another facility. Her family didn't have to up and leave and go to a different state. But it did mean months in the hospital. Riley never lost her spirit and came up with different theme days to amuse herself and the staff. I would have a color code every day for everybody. There was Tutu Tuesday, there were Mismatch Socks Day, there was Pink Day a lot, there was Polka Dot Day, there was Plaid Day, there was just everything. Her doctors and nurses played along, and for being such a good sport, and oh yes, for saving her life, Riley presented Dr. McElwain with this hand-painted white coat with all those special days represented. So whenever we did bedside rounds, which was every morning, we would go into the room on Tuesdays, tutu Tuesdays, Riley would pick somebody from the team that would have to wear the tutu during presentation. And it, thank God, was most often the boys. Riley just stopped mm -mm. her physical therapy and is glad to be back to normal. She walks away from the experience with no side effects except gratitude. Here is really everybody listens, everybody cares, and they, they really, really help. They want to help and they really care about you.